welcome to the tutorial on leaving comments. So in class, we reviewed how to leave a comment in terms of what you should say. Don't just say things like, great blog, good job, awesome. You know, things like that don't mean anything unless you provide details and explain to the person what it is you read that, that you liked. <clears throat> so remember, quote something that stood out to you from their blog or something you disagree with. Tell them why. The science class, you know, we always back up what we say with evidence, where you got your information from. And then you can leave them with a, a uh, compliment. So we'll start by finding your uh, name. So let's say, I'm just going to pick somebody. Let's say I'm Keith. I'm pretending I'm Keith, so I click on my blog. This is the important first step before you do anything. Copy your URL. You can do this on the iPad, on the netbook, on any of the computers in here, anywhere you are. Um, I'm going to do edit copy. On the iPad, you just have to put your finger in this area, hold down till the magnifying glass comes up, choose select all, and then copy. Then I'm going to go to somebody's blog. So this student wrote a um, science blog about experimenting with stream tables to see how streams flow and form. So the first thing I have to do is actually read what they wrote. Now, this student has a bunch of other blogs, so I could choose any of these to write on. So before you leave a comment, um, pick a topic that the student blogged about that you have an interest or you're curious about or that you know something about. I'm going to stick with the stream table one. Um, and I'm going to click down here. See where it says comment? Click on that. And hey, the picture showed up. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> and when you click on comment on Class Blogmeister, each blog does it differently. This one, you got to click on add a comment. And then you're going to leave a comment. So I'm Keith. So I'm going to write Keith, just my first name. I'm going to leave email blank. But then I'm going to go to URL of your blog. That says optional. Please, it is so not optional. It is required. I'm going to go to edit, paste. There's my URL. See that? That's the most important thing because that way this person will be able to click on your name and go back to your blog and read something of yours. So I'm going to tell this person, hi, Olivia. I am interested in stream tables because I think making models of natural phenomena, see how fancy I am, is a great way to learn how nature works. And I love streams and creeks and rivers. So getting to see how they form their cool twists and turns as water flows downhill is a lot of fun. So you see, I actually wrote a lot. And that's what you want to do for a comment. So I, I told this person, this writer, what stood out from uh, her blog that I found interesting, and I told her why. Then I'm going to leave with a comment. Nice picture, and it sounds like you learned a lot from your experiment. Have fun. <clears throat> well, there you go. That's how you leave a comment. Now, the last thing I got to do is go down here and prove that I'm a human. Uh, most blogs have something like this so they don't get spam. Now that looks like N36EN capital B D. So submit it, and if it worked, you'll see this at the bottom. If you see your comment has been sent to the teacher for approval, thank you for the conversation, you're done. Move on to another blog to leave a comment. Otherwise, it'll show you that it didn't go through, and um, you're going to have to submit it again. Sometimes I actually copy the comment before 
I submit it just in case it erases. I don't have to rewrite it. But try to keep getting the code right. Once you get it right, you're good to go. And that's how you leave a comment.